Hey guys, Rick with SeeMyBeach.com. We're here today at the Holy Cross Health Place. This is an amazing facility, and we're going to let Marcy Hall, the director, tell you guys about it. So let's go in and check it out. Mrs. Hall, how are you doing today? Hi, I'm doing great. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Tell everybody what's going on here at this amazing facility. Well, yes, um, I'm Marcy Hall. I'm the director of development for Holy Cross Health, and we're in the Dorothy Mangarian Comprehensive Women's Center for Holy Cross Health. And it's a facility that women can come and get their health care services, primary care, GYN, breast exams, in a tranquil atmosphere. And it was the concept was women owning wellness and women local community ladies got together to say what would be their favorite place um, to have their care and what would be some of the needs that they would want. So they wanted an art gallery, a chapel, and a serene place to go, including a, where you could get massage therapies. So that's where we're at, and I can take you around and show you a little bit of the facility. That would be awesome. Okay, great. This will tie right into a new series we're doing on our website a call about empowering women. So this is a perfect start to the series. Oh, definitely. Excellent. I think that this will go well together. Awesome. Well, show me around. Sure. So Let's... come along here. You have a great feeling just when you first walk in. Very comfortable, very comfortable. Yeah, and that's it's not what we like, wanted it's to not create. It's not like intimidating like a lot of hospitals are, you know. <laughs> exactly, that clinical setting. Yes. You can get great care and that's what we wanted to be able to have women do, but we also wanted them to feel serene and comfortable and relaxed because that's part of healing, the healing process as well. Absolutely. So we have this, um, the Marty Heidensinger Medical Chapel. Okay. And in here um, is, it's a space, it's non-denominational, but it's a space that people can come and just read, relax, meditate, mm -hmm. and just feel comfort. The psychological side of this is, all, is super, super important, making feel, people feel comfortable in, in their setting. So this is a great little room for that. Yeah, and I think one of the things that we forget, you know, sometimes we're here and we're just here for routine tests, but also people come here and they're diagnosed with serious illnesses. So mm -hmm. it's a, a place where they can feel comfort and um, peace. Nice. Right here, one of the ways we are a not-for-profit, so we do raise funds for this to keep the facility going. Right. And so we have a girlfriend's club where people can be a part of that for $5,000. They can donate, get their name on the wall, and all of the funds here keep this facility in this beautiful setting. That's awesome. If you recognize any of these names, tell them thank you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> So again, this is a doctor's office, so we have, you can get primary care, GYN care, um, we have several physicians here that you can get all of the care that you would need for your physical and your annual visits, but you could do it here in this facility, and again, it's not a clinical feeling, it's right. more of a health spa. People, I don't know if people pick it up, but it doesn't have that bad feeling at all, so. No, not at all. It's very airy and... Um, it's just a beautiful place. This is our art gallery okay. that we'll take you through, but before that we have our medical spa. So this is our medical spa where individuals can come in and they can get manicures and pedis without any of the toxic products. And they can also get facials and body massages for healing and acupuncture. So it's, it's um, again, that holistic and medical combination of wellness. Okay. And this is our art gallery. Here we highlight local female artists. Mm -hmm. And it's a way that people can come. The women that they had the concept of this facility wanted a place where they could come. And it felt more like an art gallery and a day that they could be pampered and get their medical treatment. So we do display the artwork of local artists. And we're really proud they um, contribute this to us. Very nice. Well, people don't realize this is Brooke Trace's uh, from North Beach Art Gallery. Yes. And I actually have a surprise for you because I brought Brooke with me today. Well, wonderful. <laughs> so, we're, we're actually, that would be a perfect thing. Uh, she's waiting in the, in the other area there, but I'd like to bring her in and let you kind of show her stuff around. Sure, let's do that. All right, well, let me go get Brooke. Thank you. I am so excited, Brooke. I didn't realize that Rick was going to bring you here to the art gallery where you're displaying that beautiful work you've allowed us to 
have displayed here for a year because of COVID. We haven't been able to get together, but the women have really enjoyed this. So do you want to tell them a little bit about the art? Yes. Well, Brooke Trace, North Beach Art Gallery. I've done a lot of events over the years to support your organization through our North Beach Art and Charity events. And these pieces are meant to bring the indoors, the outdoors indoors, and take you away from a sterile environment and bring the beauty and nature to the facility through my imagery. It's something I do as a, it helps cleanse your soul of all the heaviness in the world when you're out there in the moment and all the things that they separate from you and find the beauty and inner peace. Yeah, and I think you've accomplished that with this display because people have commented and loved um, looking at this. And during COVID, I think we're just been so isolated in so many ways. And we talk about not wanting this to be a traditional clinical setting. And your art has really brought the in beautiful indoors in. Yes, well, thank you. And it's been a pleasure to share this because this is what it's all about, leaning in and supporting one another. And Women supporting women is one of the biggest things that we can do to help each other and get through all these challenging times. Well, one of our programs is Women Owning Wellness, and that's why this setting was built the way that it is, so it's not your traditional clinical setting, and um, that your artwork has really enhanced that feeling for us, to have this tranquil feeling while you're getting health care. That certainly makes me very happy and proud to be a part of it. Thank well, thank you. you. Thank you for all that you've done for us. And it's, it will continue. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw this in, cmybeach.com is proud of both of you guys and our association with y'all. We believe in empowering women as well. I'm a guy, obviously. But uh, it can be told that every time I go get an insurance agent, real estate agent, anything like that, I always go for a female because they're more conscientious than guys are. They, you know, they really are. I learned that young in life, and you know, why guys are, we're talking about girls, they're working. So that's just, that's just how, that's, I had some friends that worked at a car dealership, and there was one girl, and she outsold everybody. And they'd stand around and talk about girls, and this girl would be overtaking all the customers, and it was just, you know, that's when I learned. So that's I'm, what we do. So I'm, so I'm a fan. So we're, we're all about empowering women. They should be paid equal. You know, that's just the obvious silliness that our country is going through. But uh, anyway, hopefully videos like this and people getting together like all of us will, you know, educate people to that a little better. I love your facility, though. Oh, well, we appreciate it. Once again, it is the Dorothy McGarrian Comprehensive Women's Center at Holy Cross Health. I videotaped that, but I knew I would kill the name, so I didn't say her name. So thank you for saying the name. That was a tough name there. Brooke, thank you for coming. I asked Brooke if she would come and join me on this. And oh, I'm so she, honored that she did. So I, thank I, you. I think it added a lot to it, so I'm glad you came, Brooke. Thank you. And uh, Brooke's always helping thing, people in the community, and that's why we connect so well. And she's my best friend here locally because we, we both have a strong desire to make the world a better place and do what we can. So anyway, thank you guys for being part of this. And we'll say bye from SeeMyBeach.com here at Holy Cross Healthplex in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Thank you. See you guys later. Thank you. I'm going to go around and videotape some more of this amazing art. And I'll say bye now. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye.